Hello and welcome to the second video in this series using the JavaScript API of Cocos 2D, so Cocos 2D JS, the light version, to put Simple Flappy Robin into a browser. So this is the app uh, or the browser window, the game as we last left, left, last left it, sorry. Um, you'll re remember that we've actually got a web server running to serve up these files, not simply double clicking on the hello world directory with all the files in as we left it at the end of the last video. And this video, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to add on the background and the floor, so things don't look like uh, this anymore. And we're going to deal with scaling. So you remember that I said that we've got our canvas specifically set to a size inside hello world.html 800450. And it's staying stubbornly at that size as requested uh, in the middle of the page as well as I expand and collapse. And the first thing I want to do is I want to change this to our desired resolution, which is going to be 960 by 640. And it's not actually necessary to do that right here. We can change this later in the code, but we're going to do it here anyway. If I just uh, refresh the browser, you'll see that now it's gone too big for the window. I'll expand a bit. And there we have our 960 by 640. And the image is even smaller inside with the scaling that's been applied to it. So that's that first step done. But the other thing we want to be able to do is, is to scale up and down whilst maintaining this aspect ratio. And the good news is it's very easy to do inside uh, Cocos 2D uh, JavaScript API. So at the bottom of the game.js, I'm just going to make some space to bring window.unload up, uh, up towards the top. And then what we need to do is just add really a couple of lines. And this is stuff that you can actually find inside the Moon Warriors example game. And one thing I'm going to do, because this is irritating me, it's not tabbed correctly. Now nothing's tabbed correctly. Mamma mia. Uh, let's just do this. Good. Okay. I like things to be lined up because I've only got a small brain and I get confused. So, okay. Let's then define uh, our target width. And we'll set that equal to 960, and we'll define our target height. And we'll set that to equal to 640. And we actually, inside the game on start, only need to add a couple of lines in to get everything scaling automatically for us. So the way we do that is, uh, the tabbing has gone crazy here. I'm sorry, I'm getting very distracted by things not lining up. Oh, there we go, good, okay. So. The first thing we need to do is we're going to say cc.view and adjust viewport. Oops, dot. I think it's uh, capitalized like that. It is. And set that to false. I'm not sure whether you need this or not. And I haven't looked in the API exactly what it does, but it's in the Moon uh, Warriors example. The next two lines, however, we do need and they're important. So it's cc.view, so the view that we have. And we're going to set the design resolution. Oh, size, and we're going to set this to our target width and our target height, and we're also going to say cc dot resolution policy. I think, and we're going to set it to show all, like so. So we've set our design resolution uh, size, not. I'm using, I've got English keyboard set up on a German uh, layout, unfortunately, so I might confuse Zs and Ys. Uh, and the last thing we need to do is tell it to resize with the browser size. So cc.view.resize with browser size. And we'll set this to true. And believe it or not, that's all we need to add to get this resizing and scaling correctly for us. So if I just go back to the app and refresh here, and things haven't loaded because obviously I've made some kind of uh, typing error. I'll just double double check what I've written here. cc.view adjust port viewport false set design resolution size target width target height cc resolution policy should be a big P. Sorry about that. Show all resize the browser size. Okay, let's try again. Okay, good. And now what you see is, is it's actually scaling and keeping our aspect ratio as I resize the browser in any direction. 
which is good news and is exactly what we want and eliminates any pain that we've got in making sure that we scale the sprites in the X and Y directions correctly, which you remember was an issue uh, that I like to solve manually rather than using the API in the C++ version. The alternative, of course, is to have the app always fill the browser window. And in that case, you can um, either use the API to do it in a different way, or you can do it in the manual way I did in the C++ series. Um, but I'm not going to repeat all that here because it will take an entire video. We're going to leave it like this where we always keep our aspect ratio, which means we don't need to worry about scaling anymore. So now that part's done, we move on to the next part, which is going to be adding the floor and the background into our app. Before we do that, I want to make a new file. I'm going to make a space. So uh, Notepad actually allows me to save it. And please let me save it. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. And we can call this one gamemanager.js. And inside here, we're going to keep sort of the globals, constants, and things that we're going to use inside the game. So the first thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to set up a resource var. Again, you'll see this in most of the examples that uh, come with the um, with the API and also the Moon Warriors game. And we'll say res and bg image. So the background image is equal then to um, it's called bg hd dot PNG that's inside our images file folder remember so we need to prefix that with images and the slash so images like so it needs a semicolon on the end to just copy and paste that and add the semicolons and then the other one we want to add for this video then is the floor so just floor.p-hd.png uh, and we'll call this one floor image Okay, and then the other thing I want to do then is just want to add a var constant and say kz uh, index uh, bg for background equals zero and var and kz index and floor equals 40. You'll see why it's not zero as well or one or something later on when we're in the progress of making the game. So that's the uh, strings for our background image floor image and this is our we can we could actually set these resources to load but I'm not going to do it for now uh, when the app starts we're just going to leave it like this and reference these as the strings to load the images and those are our z indexes we can go back into game.js and the first thing we want to do is remove this label code to take away the hello world label and now here we're going to copy our background image like this and drop this in instead to create the background image set it in the middle of the screen we don't need to scale it and we're going to add it as a sprite to the screen and now the floor is slightly different because we want this to be a variable we can reference later so we're actually going to say uh, this and I'm going to call it dot underscore floor like so because we want later on to be able to know the middle of the floor so we can check whether the robin has actually crashed. Remember the robin dies when he hits the middle of the floor. So we'll set the uh, floor position like so and add the, I didn't copy the art, the floor sprite as a child. And the other thing we need to do remember is get our z indexes also added correctly. So I want to add it the z index bg and I want to add this at z index floor. And I also need to change, of course, the image reference for the floor image. Copy and pasting is always dangerous. And at the moment, the floor is positioned inside the in the middle of the screen, which is obviously not what we want. We want it to be down the bottom of the screen. And there are a number of ways of doing this. And the way I'm going to do it, because I want to show anchoring again, which I talked about in the last video, is I'm going to set its position to zero by zero and leave it like that to see what happens. I'm just going to call this so we're not confused, BG Sprite and add it like so. So we've created there our background sprite and we'll add it. Its default size is 960 by 640 and here we've got um, a floor sprite now created and we can reference it later and using our floor image set to zero by zero. So if I just take the the game here and refresh the screen and we've got an error somewhere. What have I done? What have I done? Let's have a look. Developer tools. Res is not defined. Ah, of course, the other thing I need to do is I need to add the JavaScript file reference inside hello world.html, otherwise nothing is going to work. So game manager.js. Uh, and let's refresh again and hope everything works. And indeed it does. So I just close the developer tools. And the problem we've got is, is the floor is down here. 
And the reason the floor, I'll just move this to here, is like so, is our canvas size is, is correct to what we need. It's scaling nicely, but the floor, we're actually just seeing the top right hand quadrant. And the reason is we're positioning at zero by zero, which is the bottom left point here. But remember, we position the center of the sprite on that point. So we need to shift the sprite. And the way I'm going to do that is simply just to set the anchor point of the floor rather than uh, do any kind of maths with the uh, number of pixels across and up the screen. So all I need to do is just say this and underscore floor and set anchor. And then I just simply need to say zero by zero. And that means the bottom left point of the floor, if I just go back to the browser before refreshing, the bottom left point of the floor will now be positioned at the bottom left of the screen, which will make it appear to be positioned properly. So just save that file and refresh. And do I need to call it set anchor point? Yes, I do. I was wondering why it didn't work. And somebody's not on form today. Good. Let's just refresh again. And now you can see that the floor is indeed positioned correctly on the screen. So a quick video, this one. But you can now see that we've got the makings of the game coming finally. The important thing is, as we resize the browser, we keep our aspect ratio for the game, which makes things very easy as we go through developing the rest of the game. We've got our floor on, where we'll have the mountains and the trees and the sky that our robin flies through trying to avoid the tubes. So that's it then for this video. I hope everything was relatively clear so far and see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching.